Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In previous tutorial, we learned addition and subtraction using 5's complement. In today's tutorial, we'll learn addition and subtraction using 10's complement. What is 10 complement? We obtain 10's complement by subtracting the number from 10. For example, once 10 complement is 9, the 10's complement of 2 is 8, 10's complement of 3 is 7, 10's complement of 4 is 6, 10's complement of 5 is 5, 10's complement of 6 is 4, 10's complement of 7 is 3, 10's complement of 8 is 2, 10's complement of 9 is 1. How does 10's complement help in addition? So if we want to add a number using 10's complement, we add 10 and then subtract the 10's complement number. For example, if we want to add, using, add 1 using 10's complement, we add 10 and then subtract 9 from the number. If we want to add 2, we add uh, 10 and then subtract, 8, uh, then subtract 8. And if we want to add 3, we add 10 and subtract 7. And we go on so on. Let's consider with some examples. For example, if we want to add 3 to 28. So first what we do is we represent 28 using our fingers. So 2 on the left hand side, thumb and 3 fingers. So that becomes 28. Now we have to add 3. We can't add 3 on the right hand side because th there are no 3 fingers. So we cannot raise 3 fingers. So what we do is we use 5's complement. So we can't use 5 complement as well because the thumb, thumb is raised. So what we do is next is use 10's complement. So 3's 10's complement is 7. So to add 3, what we do is first add 10. To add 10, we raise a finger on the left hand side. Okay. And then we reduce 7 on the left hand side. To reduce 7, we fold our thumb and two fingers. So the answer becomes 31. Next consider if we have to add 4 to 39. So how do we represent 39? Three fingers on the left hand side and thumb and four fingers on the right hand side. Now to add 4, we cannot add 4 on the right hand side. So um, even the thumb is raised, for so we cannot use 5's complement. So we use 10's complement. So 4's 10 complement is 6. To add uh, 4 using 10's complement, we add uh, 10, which is we raise a finger on the left hand side. And then we reduce 6, which is 4's 10th complement. To reduce 6, what we do is, we fold our thumb and one finger. So the answer becomes 43. Next consider how to add 8 to 67. So how do we represent 67? So on the left hand side, 6. And then on the right hand side, 7. So how do we add 8? So we know to add 8, we have using 10's complement. What we have to do is add 10. That means we have to add 1 on the uh, left hand side and then reduce 2 on the right hand side. To reduce 2, we fold both the fingers. So the answer becomes 75. Next consider how do we add 7 to 70, 70, how do we add 76 to 7? So first what we do is we represent 76, 7 and then 6 is like this. So to add 7, we first add using 10's complement, we first add 10, so we raise another finger and to we reduce 3. So on the uh, right hand side, we cannot fold 3 fingers, so we use 5's complement. So to reduce 3 using 5 complement, we reduce 2 and add, reduce the 5, that is fold the thumb and add 2, so the answer becomes now 83. Now consider we have to add 4 to 48. So how do we represent 48? Raise 4 fingers and 8. Now what uh, we add, need to add 4 using 10's complement. So we cannot, um, uh, we cannot add one uh, finger on the right hand, uh, left hand side. Sorry, we cannot add one finger. So we use 5's complement. So what do we do? We raise our thumb and fold four fingers. So and uh, on the right hand side, now we have to reduce six. To reduce six, we fold thumb and one finger. So the answer becomes 52. 
Now let's see how tens complement help in subtraction. To subtract a number using tens complement, we subtract 10 and then add the tens complement. For example, if you have to subtract 1 using tens complement, we subtract 10 and, and then add 9. To subtract 2, we using tens complement, we subtract 10 and then add 8. To subtract 3 using tens complement, we subtract 10 and then add 7 and so on. So let's consider some examples. Say, uh, for example, we have to subtract 7 from 21. So first we, what we do is we present 21 using our fingers. So 21 is two fingers on the uh, left hand side and one finger on the right hand side. To subtract 1 using tens complement, we subtract 10 from uh, this num from here. So first we, we fold one finger on the left hand side and then we add uh, tens complement that is 3 so we raise 3 fingers so the answer becomes 14. Next consider if we have to subtract 6 from 33 first we represent the number 33 so 3 and 3 then to use uh, then to subtract the number using tens complement we subtract 10 we fold one finger on the left hand side and then add 4 so to add 4 using, we cannot just raise 4 fingers, so we use 5's complement. So what we do is, we raise uh, 5, uh, that is thumb, and then fold 1 finger, so the answer becomes 27. Next consider subtracting 9 from 46. How do we represent 46? 4 and 6. Now we have to uh, subtract 9, so to subtract 9 using 10's uh, uh, complement, First, what we have to do is um, subtract 10. So we fold one finger on the left hand side and now we have to add 1. So we lift one finger. So the answer becomes 37. Next, consider subtracting 8 from 52. So how do we represent 52? A thumb on the left hand side and two fingers. Okay. So now to subtract um, tens, uh, 8 from um, 52, what we have to do using tens complement, we have to reduce uh, 1 from the left hand side to reduce 1. So what we do is we fold our thumb and raise 4 fingers. That's using 5's complement. And then uh, what we do is add 2 on the left uh, right hand side. So we raise 2. So the answer becomes 44. I hope you have understood addition and subtraction using tens complement. Now I strongly encourage you to practice some uh, sessions uh, from the URL provided in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial.